I've got a guest, and actually I've got three guests, three former students of Providence St. Mel School. And I would like to talk to them and interview them and talk about some of their experiences at their at their individual colleges. This, excuse me, this group of young people, I can say honestly have reestablished my understanding and they have reestablished my how can I put it? They have redefined my expectation of young people. They have I've renewed my mind to the ability level of young people based on the accomplishments of my students here that I've got today. I'm very, very proud. And it is my honor that they would even come on, on short notice. All of them are coming on short notice to talk to uh, Chicago about their experiences. So I, I cannot tell you how excited I am to, to hear from them. Uh, first I'm going to do is ask to ask to have uh, I've got Thomas Morris here I'd like to uh, have, him, have him introduce himself and just tell us uh, what school is going to Thomas what are some of your interests and some of your hobbies well uh, as Miss Andrew said my name is Thomas Morris I'm a alumni of Providence St. Mel I currently go to Rose Home Institute of Technology uh, my major is computer engineering and some of my hobbies right now in the school is pretty much working on computers, doing programming, making the designs, and pretty much um, playing football. And currently, I'm part of a SIGNU fraternity right now at my college. A what? Fraternity. A fraternity? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know about that. Thomas, if you could describe the moment where you decided to take your education seriously the epiphany moment where you came to the conclusion you said wait a minute I'm going to I'm going to take school seriously I'm going to put forth my best effort on my work and I'm going to uh, try to make the deans list and all these things can you tell us a moment where you ex you experienced that in college in college or even in high school even before college well basically where I had my epiphany was in eighth grade pretty much where um, I was just going through like a phase where I wanted to be popular and wanted to be like cool I wouldn't even take my education seriously in 8th grade and really what happened was I almost got kicked out of Providence St. Mel at 8th grade because of behavior issues and I wasn't being motivated at all and so in between the 8th grade and ninth grade year I talked to myself and said look you better get serious about your education or you're gonna fall behind and become one of those statistics that you see on the on news all that kind of stuff so pretty much in ninth grade, I took my education really seriously. I tried my best in school. And the reason why I went to Rose Home was I did a whole bunch of stuff during my high school career. And, and pretty much I made my resume up to notch, top notch, made sure that even though my, my grades were really high, my, my grades were 3.5, but I'm, I wanted to push even further and make sure all the extracurricular activities I did would make even better. And Rose Home really top-notch college to go to like number one for undergraduate engineering in the country so it wasn't like it wasn't like a like luck that just happened I put a whole bunch of work into getting to that college and I'm very proud to say that I'm going to that college and get a computer engineering degree in it well not only <coughs> excuse me not only are, are you proud Thomas but I too and I think I can speak for Providence St. Mel when I say that we're all very proud of Thomas certainly this is not luck or happenstance that he's at this school with a significant scholarship it's through hard work and commitment and dedication the same dedication we're expecting from all of our students um, in, in, in Chicago Thomas I have another question for you if you could give sure. one one bit of advice one bit of advice to the class of 2011 uh, things that th uh, questions they should ask as they go through this uh, process of choosing the college of their choice uh, Thomas, what, what questions should they ask or what questions did you ask that helped you, that helped you choose Rolls Holman as a school or what questions maybe you wish you'd ask to better make a, a proper decision as to which college you, you, you wanted to attend? All right. Well, I'll probably pretty much I'm going to tell you like the top three questions you should ask pretty much every college that you go to. First question is, do they have your major and do they have what you're looking for education-wise? 
So pretty much, if the school's like top in top in the country, that's the upside. If the school's not that good in education. That's you need need to evaluate that kind of stuff. Uh, athletic, af academic wise, you need to evaluate that. My second question would ask is how comfortable the students currently on campus are uh, around campus. So pretty much, you don't want to go to a college where the dorms are nasty or you're not. You're not really relaxed with your teacher. Your teacher pretty much screaming at you, not helping you out. You need to ask pretty much the college and also the students how they feel about the college, how comfortable they are with it. And my third question to pretty much uh, to ask is, are you are you the type of person that will fit in this college? You need to ask yourself that after you reevaluate the college, after you look through the whole campus, you took tour everything. You need to ask yourself, are you a good fit for this college? And that's pretty much the three tough questions I would ask in college. Well, thank you, Thomas. Uh, we're going to go to our next guest now, and I really appreciate Thomas coming. Uh, we've got a. Uh, uh, we've I got have a some kind of scholarship you got. What kind of scholarship did you get? Um, pretty much a full tuition. Yeah, and, uh, and how did you get it? How did I get that scholarship? Yeah, how did you get the scholarship? Well, um, I'm going to make a long story short. Pretty much, I talked to my athletic counselor. She said it's a good school for engineering and good for football, which I wanted to do a plan play when I wanted to go to college. And pretty much went up to school. They saw my resume, my academics. At first, the scholarship was just like they gonna pay for some of the tuition. Then I talked to the president. I mean, I talked to a lady who knew the president of the school, and she really liked um, me as a person and my personality and what I did. So pretty much they they. Um, redid my whole academic, uh, I mean my whole, um, my whole economic or tuition and they gave me a full scholarship pay to go to Rose Home and that's when I decided I was going to go to that college. Okay, well thank you very much Thomas. We've got another